Hi. A lot of people have asked me how I did the uh, black and white movie kit tickle from the tickle kit from Rapunzel. And so I figured I would make a video tutorial. Okay, my hair is down as you can clear, uh, clearly see. Get it out of my face. So I'm going to take my glasses off and skim it back from my face. Twist it up in a bun. Oh, forgive me, I'm listening to Tori Amos in the background. I do like my Tori Amos. I can't wait to get her Unrepentant Geraldine's CD. Okay, that is... here we go. No slip headband. Grip holds nicely. Now for this kit, I always use a shaper. And the reason I do is because it gives you the big boost with it and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. And of course I'm going to make it up higher than I normally would. I'm going to make sure my ears are covered. At least for a while. Eventually if, if I get too hot or if I feel like taking it out, taking my ears out, I always do. So, here is the scarf, the Rustic Romance in black and white which I love. I love this scarf. I love the way it feels. I love the fact that it is still see-through. You can't see me, but I can see you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put my glasses back on now. Now, the thing about this it is it is so big, I could hide under it. My little boy has actually hidden under this thing before. It's too funny. He'll pop out and say, surprise! And it's not really a surprise, but you got to pretend it is. <laughs> <laughs> he does like to surprise. So I just get the edges together and then I slide it back a little bit to kind of fit my head. Not a whole lot, just some. Because this one is big enough that it pretty much covers everything. Make sure my bump is up nice and high. And one of the good things about this is it doesn't matter if you're showing your little no-slip headband that much because it's not like it's not black, you know. Now let me get that through the little loop in the back. And it doesn't really matter if one side's higher or one side's lower because it's all going to get wrapped up in a regal anyway, so this is a little bit shorter than this one, so go ahead and do this one first. Which again, it's just a simple regal. You try to make it as neat as possible. Neat as possible. What I do is I kind of scrape my fingers along it just to make sure that it's as neat as it can get. That if I feel any bumps, my fingernails, I don't really scratch scratch, but my fingernails can tell me, my fingertips and fingernails tell me where it needs it. Okay, so that's one side tucked in. I've got more Tori on the radio, or Kindle actually. And I'm gonna aim this one just a little bit farther back than I had it there. To make sure that the bump is nice and high. Tuck this in wherever you can. I am not the world's best when it comes to tucking things in. That's definitely not my not my skill set when it comes to tickles or wraps of any kind. Okay, so it's on in the regal style as you can see. And then here is the ruffle sash, which is amazing. Now it's got two sides, okay? See, you can't really see the thread very well here. On this side, you can see the elastic thread fairly well, so you want to have that side on the bottom. Now, since I want this side to be longer than this side, I'm going to, and I stretch it. Stretch, stretch. It's elastic. It's there for a reason. Okay, now when I get to that point, I'm going to hold this piece underneath my chin 
And I'm just going to keep wrapping around a couple of times until I get the short end there. And then I'm going to tie it there. And I could leave it like that and just let it hang down. I believe I tied it in a bow, actually, for that particular tie. Let me see. So you can tie it in a bow if you want. I don't like bows that much. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it around to this side and see if I like it better that way or if I want to take it all the way back around here and tie it here. See, I could tie it like that if I wanted it low. I still prefer the high piece, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap this and rewrap it to where it's a little bit higher on the side. So, let's do it again. This, I apologize, it's going to be a bit of a long one. So instead of wrapping more than once, I just wrapped twice and I put a little knot. And then of course you can slide it around. That's one of the beautiful things about this too, is you can slide it, you can move it, see? You can move it down, you can slide it up a little bit, however you particularly want it to be. And then here's the lovely pin. Thanks to Miss Danielle, I got me a green and silver one today. Thank you very much. I can't wait to wear it tomorrow. And then you can put the pin anywhere. I like to get it right up there, right above my ear. Ooh. You got a guy named Josh Eppard. He goes by Weird Science playing on my Kindle now. Oh, please forgive any foul language because it, it is a hip-hop song. And I'm having a hard time getting this pen working. I just po uh, poked myself in the finger. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not going to leave it. I'm not going to pin it in there. But you can see where it would go. See? There you go. Absolutely easy, 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 easy to do. Very easy. And if you can get the pin to fit, or close, much, much easier. <laughs> Let me try it again, I can't stand it. And I poked myself in the finger again. Let's see. Ah! Got it! Ah, didn't even draw blood. How lovely. But, let's see. Black and white. Black and white kit. Enjoy.